It is that time of year again. It is time for a back to school haul. I am Re from mummyof4.com and if you caught my recent back to school stock take video, you'll know I do one of those every year and I highly recommend you do one yourself. Now you can check out that video after you've watched this one for more information about it, but basically I go through everything the children already have and then see what is missing and the missing items are the things I buy and those are the things featuring in today's haul. But it's a really good way to make sure that you are not buying unnecessary things because before I started doing the back to school stock takes, I always ended up doubling up on things and wasting money. So in that video, I did explain that a lot of the uniform that the children have is absolutely fine and adequate for September. And to be honest, if they've got stuff that works for September, I would rather them carry on wearing that. And then when they need new things, potentially through the year, as they grow, as things wear out, then I can replace them as and when. And that kind of splits the cost across the year, rather than focusing all of the financial pressure on that back to school in September. So if your children have got things that are perfectly adequate, it is absolutely fine to send them back to school in those things. Anyway, on to the things they did need. Now we're going to start with school bags. Now my children already had school bags that would have been okay and I would have just let them take those bags back to school other than they did need activity bags. So what's happened is they're having fresh new bags to go back to school and last year's school bags are becoming their this year's activity bags for going to dance and things like that rather than buying new activity bags. And it's just kind of worked out that way. So they are having back to school bags, but the old ones are being repurposed because that's something they did need. So we'll start with Williams. William has got a rather large Avengers bag. Now it's Williams last year in primary school. So maybe he's not gonna want you know, like a character bag next year, but he's quite excited this year about the Avengers Campus opening in Disneyland Paris. If you follow me over on my Mummy of Four Does Disney channel, you know that we all absolutely love Disney. We are Disneyland Paris annual pass holders and we are going to be heading over there pretty soon to check out the Avengers Campus, which he is very excited about. So this bag comes with stickers that he could choose to add to the bag to decorate it. Um, it's a really nice big bag. I like my children to have big bags. They do have some folders and books, not big heavy textbooks or anything, some folders and books and things for homework that go back and forth. But more than anything, they carry things like gym kit, uh, wellies, because it can be quite muddy around the school grounds, so they do outdoor learning and things. So they have lots of stuff in their bags they have to carry back and forth. So this bag opens at the top and has got a sort of like a small-ish, I can get my hand down to there to here, that's where my hand's ending, for this front top pouch. And then the main bag opens. Oh no, it doesn't. There are three zippy bits. This is the back pouch, which is, I kind of guess, it's supposed to be like a laptop um, sized bit and would fit a laptop. Obviously, William's not gonna be taking a laptop to school, but would fit folders and things quite neatly in there. And then there's this whole middle section, which is the main compartment. So the middle compartment, as you can see, is pretty huge. And then the back and this top little bit. So perhaps this top little bit he'll use for just putting like snack in there. Main compartment, if he needs to take his wellies, trainers, that kind of thing. And then folders and such at the back. There is a little space to write his name, but I will let you know if you stay tuned to the end what I do about naming everything for the children because I've got a really simple solution that I've used year after year and it's absolutely fantastic. So stay tuned for that. So that is William's bag. I will link this as well as everything else in the blog post to go with this video, which you will find up in the cards and down in the description for you to find links to any bits and pieces you might be looking for after you've seen the video. For the girls, they have both got the same bag, but I've done a little something to differentiate them, see if you can spot what it is. So I'll show you one of them because they are the same. These bags don't feel quite as massive as William's bag, um, but they are still pretty good size. So they've got these little pouches on the front. It says, be true, be you. And then these little pouches on the front that they'll put all sorts of wonderful stuff in. And then this zippy bit here, which is just like a little shallow, uh, maybe it's like big enough for a pack of tissue, something like that. And then the main compartment, of the bag is just like a pretty standard backpack 
um, with a slot for folders and whatever. And then somewhere if I wanted to write their names. So both of the bags are the same and obviously they will be labelled in the way that I will discuss later. But I also got the girls these little charms so that at a glance we can differentiate whose is whose. So Bella has chosen this one which is a Minnie Mouse bow and this fluffy pom-pom thing. And Zara has chosen this very jangly Disney castle and it's got on a little cloud it says home. So there we go. Home is where the castle is. So those are really, really sweet. They're really pleased with those. Um, if you're looking for prices for anything, then just click through on the items and they will take you directly to where you can buy whatever you're looking for and the current price that things are available for. So just so that he doesn't feel left out, I did actually buy William a bag charm as well. This says Hidden Mickey Hunter. Now I'm not sure if he's gonna to want to put that on his school bag or maybe on his park bag for next time we go away. Um, but he just had one of those because the girls had them. He didn't especially need it, but he was quite pleased with it. We'll pop that on William's bag just so we know where it is and he can choose if he wants to leave it on his school bag or wants to um, put it on a park bag. Oh, just noticed William's bag's also got side drink holders, which are quite helpful. The girls' bags don't have that, but I tend to find they had side drinks holders last time and they ended up giving up on the side drinks holders and putting them inside their bag because they take the large chili bottles to school and what was happening was whenever one of the girls was bending over, the drink was falling on the floor. So the chili bottles are pretty good for not leaking. I will link some of those below as well. I've not purchased any drinks bottles because they're perfectly good from last year, but those chili type bottles are really good for keeping drinks nice and cool and being leak proof because I found a lot of the other drinks bottles that are not sort of double wall insulated will almost sweat into the bag so there'll be condensation and things which will make other things in the bag damp so that's why the chili bottles are kind of a really good drink bottle of choice for us for school but yeah William's probably gonna end up putting that inside his bag even though there is a drinks pouch. On to pencil cases and stationery. The girls found these rather cool pencil cases um, we found these in Primark. for these lovely little poppet things, which the girls absolutely love playing with. And it's got a Minnie Mouse bow, which is really, really cool. They don't really need lots of supplies and things. The school do supply supplies, but sometimes they do like to take their own things in anyway, especially one particular item which help children who have a tendency towards being perfectionist. So stay tuned, I shall show you those when they come along. Anyway, these are the ones the girls chose. William looked all over Primark, couldn't find anything that he fancied. We ended up ordering, but has not arrived yet, one of these Pringles pencil cases from Amazon. When that comes, I will add it to his school bag, but that has not arrived yet. So, the item I was talking about for perfectionist children, these are especially good for children who are on the spectrum that may be very anxious if they have made mistakes or marks they don't want in their work, and that is erasable pens. And quite frankly, as an adult in her 30s, I like erasable pens because it just keeps everything looking really neat. If you change your mind about what you wanna write, you can literally just rub it out. So even though the children don't have to take stationery in the girls' classes anyway, William's going into year six and takes more supplies. Apparently in Bella's class, she's going into year three, they don't actually need anything, but I will send her with some erasable pens just in case she wants to choose to use those. Anyway, I didn't discover erasable pens until I was in my 30s and they make all the difference, especially if you've got a nice neat planner and then you change things around, you swap things around and it still looks lovely. I have all sorts of different colors, but I have just bought black for the children for school. Some more stationery in Primark. These were three pounds each. Loads and loads and loads and loads of pencils. Um, so I got a set each for each of the little ones so they can go into their pencil cases and William's pencil case when they arrive. Now one thing I couldn't find anywhere in the house, they'd seem to all have disappeared other than the one I use for my eyeliner, was pencil sharpeners. Where do all the pencil sharpeners go? So anyway, I've ordered this pack of pencil sharpeners. I'll put the pencil sharpeners in each of the children's pencil cases. And even if the children aren't using their pencil cases then in school as much, they can take those out if they want to do homework or various things like that. Especially if we go somewhere directly after school, they've still got pencil cases to pull out and do a bit of drawing or homework or whatever it might be. Anyway, set each 
of those. And then for the house, for filling up our stationery supplies caddy that I keep in the dining room, and I always keep that stocked up. So I bought this pack of pens, four pounds for millions of pens, and by millions I mean 100, it does actually say on the front, 100 pens for four pounds. Those are pretty good. We need to do one of those checks through the caddies where we scribble with each pen and actually throw away the ones that are dried up so that they can be replaced. The next thing I have bought for back to school, I have bought these before, and it is a multi-pack of drawstring bags. So these are really, really good for all sorts of things. They're good for putting in PE kit and the labels that I buy for school labeling go directly onto these. But I'll tell you more about those when we get to them. So these bags are good for gym kit, PE kit. So they're good for storing shoes. So they don't dirty the rest of the school bag. So quite often my children will walk to school in wellies when it's really, really muddy because a lot of the school grounds that we have to walk through are really quite boggy. And then when we get to school, they will change into their school shoes. So they can put their shoes or their wellies into one of these bags during the school day or walking to school so that it doesn't dirty the inside of their actual school bag. They're good for gym kit, PE kit, things like that. But also, you know when it's like you have to send in a costume for whatever, or the school asks you to gather together whatever bits and pieces, you can just send them in in one of these bags. Because they're a multi-pack, they're pretty inexpensive. So they're really good just to have on hand. You just never know when you're gonna need like a good, sturdy, reusable bag to send into school. And the labels that I buy, which I will tell you about now actually, the labels that I buy are absolutely fantastic. They just stick directly onto these. You will have heard me talk about these for years and years and years every time we talk about school stuff or going on holiday or whatever. They are sticky labels that stick directly into the care label of clothes and then after 24 hours they're machine washable or you can stick them on things that need to go in the dishwasher, lunch boxes, things like that. And then after 24 hours, the dishwasher safe. So I like to put either the child's first name, last name, and my phone number on there, because that way, if things go missing, then you actually stand more of a chance of getting it back. We've actually had um, phone calls for when my very small ones had thrown a shoe out of a pram going, hey, I've just found your child's shoe before I even noticed it was missing. So it's really, really handy to put your phone number in these things. It's also your phone number um, on these labels, on things like your children's really precious toys that they're gonna be taking out of the house, anything like that, anything you ever wanna see again. The other option is rather than putting your child's first name and second name, you can put your family name. This works especially well if your family name is not too generic and there's not lots and lots of them. If you've got a really popular family name, then perhaps this doesn't work as well. But I like to use this method with the family name stickers for things that may be passed down or may be shared. Again, you're just more likely to get things back. And especially if you've got your phone number on it, at least it can be differentiated because whoever finds whatever it might be can give you a little call. The next thing I've got, the massive pack of these A4 popper folders. So. These are really good. I use these in house all the time for filing. This is how I file all my paperwork. I literally have like a Calyx box and I file through each one like that. I stick a little sticky label um, saying what's in it. So one for council tax, one for gas bills, one for whatever it gets sent to you by post. Then they just store really well vertically like that in a Calyx box and that's kind of my filing system at home. Now for school, I always make sure the children have got at least one of these in their bags for bringing home artwork, things like that, things that they don't want to get smushed and ruined in the bottom of their bags. They're good for sending in work. Now next year, William will be going up to the, the secondary school, which I cannot quite believe actually my second baby will be that old and going up next year. My eldest is actually starting university in September, which is why I'm not preparing him for back to school because we are talking about sending him off to university. But that's not actually the beginning of September. University doesn't start so much later in September. So I'm doing all this first and then getting onto that. Anyway, back to the secondary school thing. I use these with my eldest all through secondary school and it's such a good system. All we did is we had one folder per subject. So you have, you know, maths, if you've got separate sciences, it's biology, chemistry, whatever, one for English. And then it's also worth having one for like pastoral, generic, you know, like form room type stuff. And then every day, all he had to do was pack, he had five subjects per day, pack five folders. So it's like, right, okay, so you've got drama, maths, English, biology, and whatever. If he was given any exercise books or anything, they went inside, 
given any sheets and things, they ended up inside. Now I would imagine everything's gone a lot more online than when my eldest left school, which was only a couple of years ago because he's been in like sixth form college since then. So I would imagine even though women will be going into the same school, there will be a lot more digital stuff, but I'm still gonna stick to the folder system because they're still going to be giving out sheets and things. And I'd rather him carry back and forth an empty folder because let's face it, it weighs almost nothing. And at least know that even if he's not taking anything to the lesson, anything he is given, any booklets and things like that can stay neat. Because I know when I was in school, most of my papers were just crumpled in the bottom of my bag in a disgusting mess. So if you are having a child go into secondary school or a child that's already in secondary school that's kind of struggling to organize themselves, the folder method is a game changer. I'd seriously recommend giving it a try. But even if your little ones are only in primary school, make sure they've got an empty one of these in their bags to bring home all of their precious art. In our back to school stock take, we tried on William's trainers that he literally only uses for PE and he was more than happy with those. I will try them on him again a bit closer to the start of term and then kind of keep an eye on that. But for now, William's PE trainers are fine. And then for the girls trainers, I've got these lovely little mini Mouse ones that we found in Primark and these were 10 pounds each. They're kind of nice, lightweight. They've got mini Mouse on the side. It's kind of meshy, breathable stuff. Some Velcro and just elastic trainers. So Zara still struggles with tying her own laces. She's only five. Those will be super easy for when she's changing for PE. I also thought they're really cute as well. I mean, they could technically just wear those to school really because they are navy and their uniform's navy, but I have got them some school shoes. It's been a bit of a fiasco, um, but I will let you know what's gone on. Let's start with Williams, which are quite straightforward. So Williams got trainer trainers for gym, but really wanted some quite casual school shoes. The school he's in at the moment, because it's a primary school, are really chilled about what they wear on their feet. And from next year, I know he's gonna have to wear the really formal, proper leather black school shoes, you know? So this year, he's got these. These are from next. Um, he just really likes kind of casual footwear. The Velcro, super easy. He's happy with those. He's thrilled in fact. Now for the girls, Bella's shoes came and were what I wanted. Zara's shoes, I did not get sent the things I had ordered because I had ordered the same for both girls. So if you saw my back to school stock take, you'll know I've got a foot measuring device, what they're even called, foot measurer, foot and I'm not sure what's the name of those things. A foot measuring device. Anyway, I bought one of those during lockdown and I don't know why I didn't have one before, especially since when some of my children were younger, you know, they are on the spectrum. And one of them in particular used to really, really struggle with shoe shopping and find it very stressful. Anyway, having a foot measuring device or whatever it's actually called at home is really, really handy because it does give you the option to order things online. So for Bella, I ordered these. Lely Kelly's with hearts on them. They had Lely Kelly's last year and I'm gonna show you the state on them. They're not as bad as you'd think considering how much wear they had out of them. So last year, Bella had these shoes. You can exactly actually see an example inside the shoe of the sticky labels. These are the shoes from last year. They're not in that bad condition, really. They're not awful, but she did sort of need the next size up but they have worn quite well considering they have been abused. We've had other school shoes that have literally disintegrated in less than a year. So I've got her the next size up having measured her feet of these Lely Kellys and I'm also not sure how much longer I'm gonna be able to get away with such kind of like girly girly pretty shoes for Bella. So we're making the most of it while she wants all the bling. So um, those along with everything else I will link below. So Zara's, I ordered these in the size that I measured on the foot measuring thingy. Now what came was these, which are gorgeous, but they're not what I ordered. <laughs> um, they're also a little bit big. Uh, you find even if you go and have feet measured in store, then sometimes they need to go up or down a size just depending on brands or style or fit or whatever. So I've actually ordered these and these for Zara to try. These are gonna have to go back, I think, unless maybe I try it with an insole. I don't know, I'm just gonna see when the other shoes arrive, try them all on again, and then send back whatever we're not going to need. But yeah, for some reason I ordered those in this size and got these instead. Very cute, just not what I was looking for. So you'll have to stay tuned and watch our back to school vlog, I guess, to see um, which shoes that Zara ends up with. Um, incidentally, Lily Kelly shoes always come with like a little gift and this one looks like it's come with these little like lip glosses 
inside the box. They always come with something, sometimes it's socks, but it's always just a nice little something extra. They're only a couple of pounds more than when I bought shoes in Clark's, and I'm really impressed with how well they've lasted. Zara's shoes are in perhaps slightly worse condition than Bella's. Goodness knows what she actually does with her shoes. Still not too bad considering the amount of wear she's had out of them. And I got loads and loads of navy socks. I've got some Bella sized and some Zara sized and these are little navy socks with a really subtle little frill on them, really, really cute. I have ordered just William some more days of the week socks because they're the ones he likes, but again, they have not arrived yet. But the time of filming, we've still got a few weeks before we go back to school, so I'm not too concerned. And then I've also got here a box of carabiners. Why, Ray, have you got so many carabiners for back to school, I hear you ask? Well, they are really good for doing this. So the reason I like carabiners is because you can punch a hole, this is Zara's from last year, you can punch a hole into one of these little pocket folders, stick it on the back of their bag like so, and then if you've got any letters that need to go between home and the teacher, you have this pocket folder ready to go. Now I know not everyone likes having their name on their children's things so it can be visible, which I understand, totally stranger danger. Um, this was always kind of tucked behind her back between her and the bag, so it wasn't actually visible, but it was visible enough to be seen by the teacher if there were letters and things to go back and forth. You actually stand a chance of getting letters from your child's school now, although I must admit a lot of it has gone digital and electronic now, which is a game changer and so much easier. So there are now a whole load of back to school videos on screen for you to choose from to help you get ready for back to school. Let me know in the comments if you are ready for back to school yet or if you've not started, if you're totally finished, if you're halfway through, let me know. I shall see you over there in one of the videos on screen now. Bye.